Hello there, you have images that you would like to turn into PBR textures and you're looking for an easy and quick way to do it. Well, here is a free software for you called Materialize and I'll provide the link in the description. You go and click on download Materialize for Windows and then you click on this button. It's going to give you a zipped file. Once you unzip that file, you get these files inside this folder and this is the software exe file okay so the first thing to look into is the controllers so right mouse button is going to rotate middle mouse button is going to pan and then zooming in and out using the mouse scroll if you click and hold middle mouse button and then l on the keyboard it's going to allow you to change the light direction which could be in some cases very useful okay and I'm gonna hide the controls now now notice here on the top side there is a way that we can change the file format which is fantastic but I was disappointed to know that it's only a matter of format it doesn't really increase the bit depth of those images in other words height maps such as normal and displacement maps they can benefit drastically from higher bit depth so typically you want to have a displacement map of diff with 32 bit depth but unfortunately the software only exports 8 which is as good as a jpeg so it's kind of a disappointment for me however if you know of a way that you can export higher bit depth from this software I would be delighted to be wrong about it. Please correct me and let me know because that's going to make those maps a lot more effective. Okay, so the first starting point is uh, the letter O on these maps. O means open, so let's say you have a map that has a specific... Let's say you have an image and you happen to have a different map of it, you can load it up here. But if you're just starting with a diffuse, You'll just go here to the diffuse map and then click on open. One thing that's going to annoy you about this software is that is that you have to go manually and find the directory of the files that you're looking for. So it's pretty annoying to go to the desktop and then double click and it's kind of weird. However, there's this button that I highly recommend using. So let's say the images are in here. For my case, I'm going to go here, click left mouse button and then control C to copy that and then go and just click on paste directory okay so I'm gonna load up this image double click or hit select it's gonna take few seconds because it's a 4k texture all right so this is my texture notice that you will need to start with the height map in order for you to get the normal map and keep in mind that uh, because of that naturally it's very important to get the height map as precise as possible because it's going to influence the result of your normal map. So I'm going to go and click create. It's worth noting that you can zoom in quite a bit. It's very useful in some cases. So notice here that in my case, as far as I want the result to be, I want these seams to stay in place while these details to be bumped out. So naturally, as we know from masks, and um, maps in general the brighter the pixel or the whiter the pixel the higher the value it is and then the dark ones are going to just stay where they are or maybe like if they are kind of gray they would only be bumped out just a tiny bit okay so in this case here notice how it's the opposite of what i have right so keep in mind that the software is not really gonna assume things as they should be necessarily it's not it doesn't have the ai ability to decide so what I need to do now is to go to the options here. Uh, you can go to the details to make it like a detailed kind of displacement map. You can go to just displace. And of course you can fiddle with the results a little bit. So kind of fine tune it. But the thing that I care about in this example here specifically is the final contrast. The final contrast is going to allow me to invert the result. Right? So notice now how these seams are the darkest which means they're going to be bumped out the least and these are going to be displaced okay so i'll call this done 
and click here on set as height map now that it's created I can create the normal map before I do so it's something that you might find entertaining at least is this here height reveal slider and that applies for all the maps so it's gonna show you what is the result it's kind of before and after so if I go here and create the normal map not exactly sure why the normal reveal slider is not really working here the uh, pre-contrast allowing me here to change the contrast of the normal map and in this case or typically in normal maps you know it's nice to be kind of closer on the subtle side but this is the case where you can easily just go and you know you can you can experiment with these results like smooth for instance versus crisp which could be a bit crazy mids so I'm just gonna go with crisp just to experiment and see what kind of results I get as you can see here using a 4k map is pretty useful to get some really interesting and nasty details which is awesome okay so set as normal map let's see now if the reveal slider is gonna work nope still no and you can always go back and click preview on certain maps just to have an idea and now if I want to create metallic I don't want in this case instead I'm just gonna go and create an ambient occlusion map so create now I'm in occlusion works in the way that the brighter the pixels the less they're going to show as kind of shadow effect so in this case here you know for every map you would need to determine exactly what is the result you're looking for one of the great things about this software is that if you're confused at any point you can always go and click on show full material I can experiment with these features so I don't have to go back to the maps to make any adjustment yeah this is exactly what I'm looking for also if you would like to view the result now that I am happy with the result I would like to take a look at it from maybe different perspectives such as looking at a cube so this would help you based on how you anticipate the result to be used cylinder and I can go here and switch the background maybe this is an easier one to look at the details from the side view and maybe I can go here and change the displacement based on that so this should be ideal I think a little bit uh, conservative but that's good and next I'm going to go and create the ambient occlusion and for the ambient occlusion I want the seams to be brighter because they don't have that much of occlusion on them so keep in mind that the software doesn't really know what is good for the map I think this would be a good occlusion map because notice that we should have the occlusion only around these areas where some of those rocks are kind of like bumping out of the wall in the meantime these are not supposed to be having occlusion making them like let's say you're tempted to go with some really strong ambient occlusion map the result is gonna be darker than it should be let's take a look here at show final full material right now I'm moving with both middle mouse button and the right mouse button the software is amazing anyhow so if you want to start over oh let me create the uh, the AO map I think this is the result that I wanted set as AO map one of the issues uh, of this software is that it doesn't have roughness map but that's not really a big deal because technically speaking you can manipulate the displacement map a little bit in a way that it gives you roughness just keep in mind that the white pixels as I mentioned is going to give you the absolute value and the dark or darkest pixels are going to give you the least value of uh, roughness 
so you can take that image into photoshop and then you can manipulate it however you want or you can even change it right here and then you can save it separately before you export things fully as a package so you can let's say i'm gonna go here and say you know i want a result of this to be specifically for maybe uh, roughness so if i go to default um, or details or displays and you can fiddle with it and say okay this is good for roughness then i would go and hit save and then i will name it roughness and then after that i would go back and say okay uh, now for the displacement i'm looking for something more like this and you call it done all right so before i save everything i'm gonna go and save them as diff and then finally save project and this is the result that I have so here are the maps one thing that I care about the most in terms of the displacement is to go here into the image go to mode and then notice how even though the image is in TIFF format unfortunately it, it is only eight bits the higher the bits the much better the result is so i would think this is one of the issues as far as materialized software of course it's making a lot of things much easier and faster but this could be one of the issues that you may want to think about so one of the issues that i mentioned about this software is that it does not produce roughness map and i also mentioned that we can leverage the displacement map to create something that could be used as a roughness map. So here's an example. Please keep in mind that this depends on what materials you're working on. So the uh, the fun part about this is that you're gonna be using your own judgment and that's also not so fun part if you are trying to look for something consistent if you are working on multiple materials. So maybe you could work on finding the formula for it at least i would say for this specific material my formula for creating a roughness out of the displacement is the following i start by inverting the map Control i and of course i'm using photoshop and then i'm going to go to the levels i'm looking for something brighter not darker so as i mentioned before the brighter the pixels the more roughness we get so this is more rough and uh, typically those rocks that are in the bricks they could possibly have less roughness, maybe some sort of like a polish and things like that. So definitely these seams are the most rough in that combination. So my next move would be in the levels. Control L, the shortcut for levels, is to move this somewhere here. Maybe even something like that. Overall, this is a pretty rough material overall. But some of these materials could be a little bit maybe kind of less rough so this is my formula again uh, what i did was inverting and then going to the levels and then pushing the levels to get to this result 